Winter in Finland is very long and very dark. It seems the older I get, the longer it feels. We only get a few hours of daylight in southern Finland, but in the north it's dark most of the time in winter. This winter has been quite a strange one. There has been periods with lots of snowfall, but also many days with temperatures above freezing degrees, so the snow has melted away many times over. So it has really been quite a mild winter this year. Snow is very beautiful, but can mean quite a lot of work. It's not always so much fun to clean the driveway, especially if you have to do it in the morning and in the noon and in the night. That actually happened two or three times this winter. It's not fun when you are in a hurry and need a car, when it's completely covered with snow or stubborn frost is attached to the window, when locks are not working and the trunk is frosted shut. The snow cover is deepest around mid-March, with an average of 60 to 90 centimeters of snow in eastern and northern Finland, and 20 to 30 centimeters in southwestern Finland. The lakes freeze over in late November or early December, and ice is thickest in early April at about 50 to 65 centimeters. When the weather is sunny, it is usually colder than when it snows due to the high air pressure. There is nothing better than a sunny and crisp winter day, but some winters you might not have any sunny days during months. Now that spring is getting closer, we start seeing more of the sun as it's peeking up behind the horizon and starting to heat snow-covered ground. The nicest winter days are therefore in the end of the season. The temperature varies a lot during the night and the daytime, so beautiful sparkling ice spikes are formed in many places. The kids love the snow and there is many fun activities to do outside in winter. As an adult it's not always easy to find the energy to go outside, especially when it's dark, and it can be a challenge to dress properly when it's freezing cold. I have found it to be quite difficult to find proper winter gear for an adult, especially if you are plus sized or don't want to spend a fortune. There is a huge variation for winter clothes for kids though, but nothing nearly as good for adults. The cold fresh air is very healthy. Spotting a baby napping outside in the frigid conditions isn't a cause for concern in Finland, or any other Nordic country for that matter. It's a common custom for parents to put their babies down for a nap outdoors, because the babies get better sleep while being exposed to fresh air. Both of my children have napped outside during the winter when they were babies. One of the things I like most about Finland is the seasons. Winter is the longest season in Finland, so snowy weather is just one of those things you'll have to get used to. Living with snow also means that you'll have a large vocabulary of snow-related words. The truth is that the Finnish language actually has 40 words related to snow. Winter swimming or ice swimming is actually a thing in Finland. This requires either breaking the ice or entering the water where a spring prevents the formation of ice. This activity is such a strong part of the Finnish culture that we have a word for it, and it's avanto ointi. There are about 150,000 active winter swimmers in Finland and many locations to take your daily dip all over the country. The effects of cold water on the immune system have been studied widely.
Paddling in a frozen opening boosts your immune system and keeps colds at bay. Cold water swimming also activates endorphins and gives you a natural high. It also gives you better circulation and boosts estrogen and testosterone production, increasing the libido. It has many other positive effects too, and the effect is doubled if there is humor or even a little clown jumping involved. This has been known in Finland for decades, as the attached film clip shows. Cross-country skiing is a popular and easy way to explore the Finnish nature in the winter. According to statistics, there are more than 600,000 cross-country skiers in Finland. The advantage of cross-country skiing is its versatility, as it is possible to enjoy the exercise, which increases endurance and improves muscular fitness in the middle of beautiful winter scenery. You may find yourself surrounded by breathtaking views and the vast silence of the Finnish nature. It's a great way for exploring different terrains. In addition to sheltered forest landscapes, tracks can be found on the shore of the sea and on frozen lakes and rivers. Most tracks are also well suited for skiing with dogs. Another addition to the sport is skiing in deep snow, which allows free movement in the silence of the wild nature. There are thousands of kilometers of maintained skiing tracks all across the country, including capital regions. Soon winter is coming to an end and the season is changing to spring. Spring starts in March, but it won't get warmer until April. The average temperature is between 0 and 10 degrees Celsius, so it's still quite cool, but of course not as cold as in winter. And there is also more sunlight daily. I'm really looking forward to be able to start working on Siskola again. I can't wait for the snow to melt and nature to become green as plants and trees grow leaves. As the snow melts and the flora and fauna return, birds start chirping and you can see rabbits and squirrels come out of hiding. Life slowly returns as people and animals alike come out of their winter hibernation. The weather can still be cold and rainy, but this is the season people have been waiting for, because summer is right around the corner. But we'll have to wait just a little bit longer.